Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So this channel, Everyday Data Science, is all about trying to learn the different concepts involved in data science by practicing a lot of questions. In this video, I am going to solve this question on lead code regarding recyclable and low-fat products and try to walk you through how we can develop solutions to such problems. This question has been asked in Facebook interviews four times in the last six months. So let's jump right in. We are given a table called products with three different columns, product ID, low fats and recyclable. Product ID is the primary key for this table. Low fats is an enum of type yes or no or basically binary, binary values where Y means yes this product is low fat and N means it is not. Similarly, for recyclable column, it is again an enum type with Y and N, where Y means this product is recyclable and N means it is not. We are asked to write a SQL query to find the ideas of products that are both low fat and recyclable. The order of the result does not matter. So this question seems pretty simple. So all the product IDs where the low fats has Y and the recyclable has Y in it. So looking at this, we have product ID 1 and product ID 3, right? So that should be the output. So yeah, this seems pretty simple. Let's quickly develop this query. So from this table called products, what we do, we keep only those records where the low fats has a value of Y in its column. So low fats equal to Y. So basically now it will only keep three records right uh, zero this this row this row and third row because he, remaining two rows it has low fats n but we also may need to make sure that it is also recyclable as well so we need to include another condition and recyclable equal to y as well so now out of those three rows this row will be excluded because it has not recyclable. So the only rows that are kept now are first and third because it has both the columns with Y values. And then from those records, we return the product ID. So yeah, this looks pretty much it. Let me go ahead and run this and see if it gets accepted or not. So yeah, this is accepted. Our output is same as expected output. Let me submit this to see if it passes all the test cases. So yeah, this passes all the test cases and is accepted. So yes, this is how we develop queries and solutions to such problems. This is pre pretty basic and it has been asked in Facebook interviews over the past six months a bunch of times. But yeah, this is how we think step by step in such problems and how we build queries. Let me know guys if this video was useful and until then I will see you guys in the next video.